Well, state emergency officials spent a lot of time and focus today making sure that hundreds of thousands of South Carolinians know exactly what to do and how to stay safe when the ground starts shaking. More than 320,000 people across South Carolina signed up to take part in today's great shakeout, which is really a worldwide earthquake safety drill. State House reporter Mary Green has the details from the South Carolina Emergency Management Division in Lexington County. Scientists say they can't predict when an earthquake will strike here in South Carolina. So emergency management officials say it is crucial to prepare as much as you can before one and know what to do if the earth starts shaking. This is an earthquake drill right now. Drop, cover and hold on. Those are the words emergency management leaders say all South Carolinians need to remember. Drop, cover and hold on. Drop where you are onto your hands and knees. Cover your head and neck with one arm and hand as you crawl for shelter under a nearby table or desk and hold on to your shelter with one hand while, until the shaking stops. Emergency management staff practiced it Thursday as part of a worldwide earthquake drill. The epicenter of the largest earthquake ever recorded along the eastern United States was outside of Charleston on 31st of August, uh, 1886, and the 7.3 magnitude earthquake devastated the region and was felt from Chicago to Cuba. Studies indicate an earthquake of similar magnitude today uh, would be catastrophic. 14 low magnitude earthquakes have been recorded in South Carolina since January. On average, the state experiences between 10 and 20 earthquakes a year, while more than 70 quakes were recorded last year. There are uh, faults everywhere in South Carolina. Uh, they have a propensity to go off every so often. So emergency management officials say it's crucial for South Carolinians to prepare for one now. They should do that by securing furniture and loose belongings, knowing what's in their insurance policy, and prepping disaster supply kits that can get them through at least three days. Identifying potential hazards ahead of time and advanced planning can reduce the dangers of serious injury or even possibly death. Thursday's drill also coincides with Earthquake Preparedness Week here in South Carolina. Reporting Lexington County, I'm Mary Green.